このプロジェクトの考えていたものです。The film Sweet Bean was something of a success at that time, and I was wondering what my next project should be. Back then, I wanted to film a comedy, just like horror films. Comedies seem simple, but in fact are a really difficult genre of film to make. I wanted to give myself a challenge and try to make one. O Debut is the story of Aya, a single 27 year old girl who is very overweight. Aya starts every day by kissing a poster of Tomaki, the man of her dreams. Aya works in a call center. She's used to being called fatty. That's her life. Mosmosi. Mosmosi. Koimaska. Enchanted by his beautiful voice, Aya notes down the mystery man's phone number. All overweight women are subject to some form of discrimination. It's important to depict these people honestly. I hoped this film would encourage viewers to question any prejudices they might harbor against overweight people. Aya san no jinsei wa.
四国には四国のアヤは時間を過ごしてサイバーのおいしいシーフードを食べて、ビーチを食べて、ビーチを食べて、ビーチを食べて、ビーチを食べて、ビーチを食べて、ビー彼女は海を Aya gazes out to sea, waiting for the man with the beautiful voice. しかし、He won't come. A very long time ago, a monk named Kukai lived in this temple. Legend has it that after his death, people would come from miles around to ask him to grant their wishes. These people who wanted to fulfill their wishes would leap off this cliff, and the monk Kukai would either grant their wishes. Or take their lives. So, what will happen to Aya? Gambari Mastane, Aya san. At the sound of his voice, Aya recognizes the man from the phone call. Yokoyama explains that he was afraid to tell her who he was. He feared she would reject him when she saw how short he was. Personally, I don't think he truly wronged her, 
He lied to her, but it helped her get her life back on track. He didn't do it to trick her. He was thinking about her well-being. The visible and the invisible. It's a recurrent theme in my films. What we can see and what we can't. I'm more interested in the unseen. For me, there is no clear-cut line between documentary and fiction. Reality actually often takes precedence. And I think the project was stuck in the realms of fiction. That's why I'm going to put this story to the side for the moment, while I keep looking for that missing touch of realism. Thank you.